guys, sorry if my hair's a little wild. I haven't really showered yet today. Um, yeah, bad hygiene, Alex. Um, anyway, it's time for another album review. Um, this time it's of Spoon's new album, Transference. And uh, the thing I like about Spoon is that they're very consistent from album to album for me. They, they rarely ever uh, blow me away with their music, but... Generally, I find that their albums are all very enjoyable and give me a lot of repeated listening, which is good. Um, so on Transference, uh, this band from Austin, Texas, um, moves away from their sound from Ga 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 Five Gods. Um, they move. Uh, that album was filled with a lot of pop hooks and um, short pop melodies. And it was very good, but uh, they move away from that here. They strip back a little bit more. They go for some more intimate songs. Um, although on the first half of the album, there are a lot of these funky Red Hot Chili Peppers-ish bass lines here that are really good. I really enjoy them. And um, they, although they're a very stripped back band, which is what they're famous for, they don't use a lot of instruments, um, there are a lot of different facets to their music like such as on the song after this song who makes your money there are these spacey synths that make it kind of creepy and cynical which i really enjoy i really enjoy um this album if you see it's spaced as if it was like vinyl it has like two sides but you know one side just plays after the next um and that is the weirdest ending to the song ever i have to say um two of the songs here really really have horrible endings like the one before this it ends mid-sentence he's going mystery he's gonna say mystery and he goes miss and it just ends and i thought it was a problem with my cd but it's not because it's as long as the time it says four minutes 59 seconds and it's four minutes and 59 seconds and then it ends weird ending another weird ending is on the lead single got nothing um which um it ends so abruptly like it's going well you're like kind of jam into it there's this little guitar solo and then it just fades out but so quickly it fades out like in a second it sounds like the intro to my videos when i'm playing that golden rule by biffy clyro and then when my face shows up when my ugly mug shows up the song just fades out really quickly that's what it sounds like here and it's just so abrupt and awful sounding so i didn't like that one thing i do like about got nothing though is how it's buried deep into the album because this single came out uh, like six months before the album came out, and um, and I like that they buried it deep in the album because, <clears throat> excuse me, it would have seemed really tired, um, it would have seemed like drawn out like it came out too long ago, if and if they had been using that as like the third song or something, it just would not have worked, and I like that they used their other newer material to um, make up the early portions of the album. And that song, Got Nothing, um, really picks up the part, it, the second half of the album, which is, um, which slows down a little bit, and then there it picks up. Um, Spoon do make an interesting choice here to produce the album themselves. Uh, this is the first album that they produce themselves. Um, and to be honest, they really had a hands-off approach on themselves. It was like... They really just let themselves play. There's not much more than a bass, a guitar, drums, and a piano, which Britt Daniel plays really well all, all, all across the board on this album. Um, and his crooning is really good. I mean, sometimes when his voice cracks, it just sounds really, really vulnerable and good. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, the flow on this album is interesting. The first five songs, I feel, are perfect, like, perfect flow. But then songs six through nine are just, they're just kind of there. They they could have been changed around to flow better because the, that's the part of the album where my mind just kind of shuts off. I'm like, okay, I'm listening to music. It's enjoyable, but I'm not paying attention to it. And then it picks up with the last two songs, Got Nothing and Nobody Gets Me But You. Um, anyway, this is a very good album, a consistent album by Spoon, as usual. Their seventh album, released on Merge Records on January 25th this year. Um, 